Now, three weeks before Marilyn died, photographer George Barris unknowingly captured some of her last moments before camera. Our television and movie critic George Kirgo caught up with Barris in Los Angeles, and the photographer talked about his memories of those final days. She was really down to earth, and it was kind of hard to believe that here you are, working with the most beautiful, famous woman in the world as far as being a movie star and a person. And she was very cooperative. She would do anything that she felt would help in whatever pictures we were taking. And she was just as warm as could be. She, she kept a champagne glass with her. And uh, she didn't drink as much as people said she did. She very seldom, it was sort of like a prop. Uh, she was warm. She, she was very cooperative, and uh, in fact, there were a lot of times when you'd feel that she was taking the pictures herself. I mean, she would say, look, I've got an idea. What do you think about it? And they were always good ideas, you always that, good yeah. ideas. And uh, this was a, a girl that um, loved the camera. She really did. George, Marilyn left Hollywood, went to New York to work at the actor's studio. She wanted to be taken seriously as an actress. And then she came back. And here are these final photographs. In, I see a, an intensity and a, and a depth in her eyes that I hadn't seen before. But they're also kind of sexy. Uh, how could she do that after the way she spoke? And, or was she just having a good time? She was having a good time. And also, uh, I said to Marilyn, look, you're a beautiful woman. And the world wants to see a woman of 36 that looks as great as you do. And she said, if you think so, fine. And she was very cooperative. She realized the fact that being a woman and being beautiful, that it was her obligation to, to the world to not hide it. And uh, it was something she was proud of. We all are proud that she, at 36, looked at, like a 16-year-old in some of these pictures. Tell me about the last photograph you took of Marilyn Monroe. The last picture uh, that I took of Marilyn, there was just one uh, frame left in the camera. And the sun was just about going down. And we were on the beach. And uh, it was getting kind of chilly, and Marilyn started to shake a little bit. And uh, I said, Marilyn, this is the last picture I'm going to take of you. And she said, do we have to? And I said, please, it's the last frame, and let's make it a picture that everyone will remember and that you would be proud of. So she was sitting on the sand. We had uh, this um, Scandinavian heavy sweater she was wearing. She bundled up and she had covered her knees with the uh, blanket. She leaned forward and she said, all right, George, and this is just for you. And she puckered her lips and threw a kiss to me. And she said, uh, this is for you and the world and this is the picture I want to be remembered by. And uh, Marilyn, who was Norma Jean, always will live in our hearts. On Wednesday, art publisher Edward Weston is presenting an exhibit of George Barris's pictures and 1,000 more by other photographers at the Bellage Hotel in Hollywood. Proceeds will benefit AIDS Project Los Angeles. The exhibit will then tour the country. Coming up next, we'll have Money Watch with Betsy Ashton, plus comedian Kathy Ladman. Stay with us.
cameras turned out for a celebrity preview of a photography exhibition of Miss Monroe. Featured are works by Milton Green, Bert Stern, and George Barris. Many are originals. Some were taken in the last week before her death by a drug overdose at age 36. Exhibition is at the Bel Air Hotel in Hollywood. It opens to the public on Wednesday.